Hi everyone. <laughs> so tomorrow is my birthday and I decided to just make a cake. It's been a while since I baked a cake and I was like, you know what? I think I should do this. So I'm going to bake a cake for my birthday today. I hope it all works out. It's been a long time since I baked a cake, so I don't know if it will come out good. But um I'll be using some four inch um, cake pans because I want a really small cake. I'll be using three of them because I want it to be kind of high. And let's just see how this all turns out. So here I have some baking powder with salt, a little bit of canola oil, some sugar, margarine, unsalted margarine, two eggs, some flour and some soy milk and vanilla. First, I'll just add the butter to the margarine and set it aside. I'll add the oil in a little bit later. The next thing I'm going to be doing is beating the eggs with the sugar. Just to also get this out of the way, I'll add my salt and baking powder to my flour. I'll then whisk it and set it aside. So now I'll be adding my two eggs to my mixing bowl. Make sure your eggs are room temperature. Next, you're going to add the sugar in parts until it's fully incorporated. So it should look a little bit like this, kind of like it doubled in size and a little bit white. Now I'm going to be adding in my flour. Make sure it's kind of thick. But now I'm worried it might be runny because. <laughs> okay, so now put this in the microwave until the butter is melted. It should be hot. And um, yeah. Okay, so now we have our melted butter and milk here. And I'm going to pour it in the previous bowl. I'm going to pour the oil in. It's right here. I'm going to put the oil in. I'm going to need to take some of the flour mixture just to temper it before adding it to the remaining butter. I've never done this before, or have I? I think I have. It's kind of thick, thick. So this is how it should look. And adding the vanilla. I forgot about the vanilla. The vanilla thing. All right. So here's my three. Four inch tins. Let's just pour it in. A little bit less than halfway. So these are the cakes. Right over the oven, they're cooled. I it was a little bit raised on this one, so I kind of cut it so it was a little bit even. But I didn't cut this one. I don't know. I might cut it. I don't know. But tomorrow I'm going to layer these. Oh, let me just show you 
how soft they are. They're like really nice and oh, they're really nice and soft. I actually tasted a piece. I actually tasted a piece. It tastes just like cupcake. It's really, really good. And spongy, light and airy. I'm going to just ice these tomorrow and show you how the final product looks. It's now time to make the frosting. You need to start with room temperature unsalted butter or margarine that looks just like this once you press it with your finger. Then you're going to whip it until it's nice and fluffy. Now here comes the unusual part. I did this off camera, but I made this thick paste by cooking flour and milk. I wanted to make a frosting that wasn't too sweet, so the addition of this flour mixture will not only make it less sweet, but very fluffy and silky. I was using powdered sugar, so I added in some powdered sugar each time I put in some of the flour mixture. You're going to put in this flour mixture a tablespoon at a time until it's fully incorporated. This was actually my first time making this buttercream and I was very surprised by how it came out. It was very addictive and I swear I could not stop eating this. So if you ever try this recipe, please let me know what you think because I know that you will definitely love it. Once you've added everything in, then just whip it up for like three minutes and then you're finished. Now it's time to ice the cake. I did not have a specific technique to do this. As a matter of fact, I'm actually not very good at decorating cakes. And I almost gave up a couple of times, but I decided to stick to it. I even removed one of the layers of the cake because it was just too difficult to ice all three together. So I ended up using two and I also had like this cake home thing I'm not sure what it's called actually but you will see that um, I used it to kind of decorate the size of the cake and yes there are some patches but I am happy with how it came out don't get me wrong cakes in Japan are very very delicious I love eating cake here however I wanted something that kind of reminded me of sugar and spice cake in Jamaica I love sugar and spice cake and I'm so happy I tried this recipe because it tastes exactly I'm telling you just like sugar and spice cake and the main reason why I really decided to challenge myself and make my own birthday cake was because I didn't I actually did not have any birthday plans and it was raining for like a whole week and the weekend was like so rainy so you know since I didn't have any plans and I wasn't going to go anywhere I was like you know what let me just have a photo shoot with a birthday cake that I made and I had a lot of fun doing this my photo shoot was fun you know my favorite part was eating the cake though you know I love the size everything about it was just perfect Decorating the cake with the sprinkles and the candles really put this cake together and I am just so in love with the end result. I can actually cut it on camera. It was in the fridge, so it's a little bit hard. this video 
please hit like and leave a comment down below. Remember to subscribe to get notified whenever I post a new video and follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Thank you.